Hi everybody! This time I'm going to show you how to cook a Korean side dish using dried anchovies. This one is really small, right? So I got this from Korea, but you can get this in Korea town and the Korean grocery store. And this is also small size. size. So this is for really big size. Usually we use this for stock or broth. And Of water, one tablespoon of corn syrup, and then this mixture, and then shimmer it for a while until when it thickens. So I think that's enough, and then Sesame oil, one teaspoon, and also sesame seeds, a half a tablespoon. We got the really nice, crispy Korean side dish, melchi bokum, using just not very hot spicy, more mild style. is going to be ready. So same. Same way. So the color is a little change to like brown. I'm using olive oil but you can use vegetable oil too. Then set it aside. And then lower your heat. One tablespoon of hot pepper paste. One teaspoon of water. One or two tablespoon of brown sugar or white sugar. One teaspoon of garlic. So if this uh, liquid is uh, too thick, and you can add some water also. I'm putting more. I'm adding more water. Also. The corn syrup. One tablespoon. If you don't have all this mullet, and just uh, uh, you can use the sugar. Until when is this liquid? Looks really shiny. See sizzling. So it smells really good already. Then now mix it. So be careful not to burn this. Maybe one tablespoon of sesame seed. And a little bit of sesame oil. That's it. This one is a hot, spicy. Okay. So now today we made two cups of dried anchovy melchi bokum. One, one cup is for the plain. Just I didn't use any soy sauce, just the plain uh, melchi bokum. This is a hot, spicy melchi bokum. So you can keep this in the refrigerator. So whenever you need side dishes and then you take it out and then enjoy this. Mmm, this is really you like it. Okay, thank you. Bye.